Hey everyone, it is your host, Cyber, and welcome to another video. A lot of people are probably not aware, or you're probably already aware of this, but World at War Zombies is now available on Plutonium. You can play custom maps and custom servers on Plutonium, and it's pretty amazing. But there is a question that a lot of people have been asking. How do you get custom maps to work? How do you get mods to work on Plutonium? Well, if you all if you all are watching this video, you came to ask that simple question: How do I get my World at War get copy to work with plutonium on custom maps? Well, I'm gonna explain to you that, old boyo. And in this video, you're gonna be feeling a okay because in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and how to get it working. Now, this is very complex because a lot of people have try, probably tried this and did not know exactly what's going on, and I'm going to explain to you what's going on. So, I have tried this for the first time yesterday, and I was experiencing that same problem, but I figured out a fix for it, and it's all A-OK -okay because it's something that you need that you missed a little step that Plutonium does not explain to you. So, if you head over to the Plutonium website, it will guide you on how to how to install plutonium and how where to put the where to put all the files in the folder. However, it does not explain to you on how to install what happens if your game crashes when you try to launch a a custom map through plutonium's launcher, such as there's a map called Nacht Reimagined. This is a really cool map and um, this is a mod, and basically it will download the mod for you, install it, and then it will automatically launch. But the problem is, is that when every time you launch it, you get an error code, you get a ding, like a little, like a Windows ding sound, and or crash sound, and it will tell you that the game has crashed, and it will disclose plutonium altogether. It can be very frustrating, and I can understand how frustrating it can be when this does happen, but there is a way to fix this, and I'm going to explain to you how. So, this is, if you remember, I posted a video many, I think a year or two ago. I don't remember how long I posted that video. But I posted a video about how to install UGX mod onto, you, your, onto Cold, 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 Call of Duty World at War. And with Plutonium, it's completely different because it's just confusing because there's no guides on how to fix this. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. So the first thing, the first thing you need to do is you'll you'll need to head over and you'll need to go into your URL browser and just type in UGX mod. Then you'll need to head you can you can head to mod releases that's right here. If you don't see it, just click UGX mods and you're searching up on the the forum. And you will need the World of War modification T4M dash T4M R45, and you will need a UGX mod standalone. Well, with the T4M, what you'll need to do is you'll need to, you can view all the information that it will provide to you, such as uh, if you had the disk version, etc., etc., and you'll need to scroll down until you hit one of these options. I would recommend you, you can download each one however you like. Just click and download the T445M release. I believe I do have the T445R5RM already here so yeah you'll need to extract it I don't know why I did that but I'm a fool uh, yes to all and it will be right here so these two files you'll with the T45 T4 and R45 you'll need to copy this little file and this file in order to find your, your location of where your game is remember where my game is stored may be different for you. So make sure that you know where exactly where World at War Zombies or World at War folder is where it has all the game files. For me, it's in my local game disk. I will open into a new window. I will go into Program Files. I will go into Steam. I will go into Steam Apps, then Common, and then find my Call of Duty World at War um, copy. Now I would move this to the side and I would highlight both of these and just copy them to the folder since I already have it I'm just gonna replace replace them it's fine 
Uh, and now you what you'll need the next thing after you install that one, make sure you keep the folder, uh, well that word folder open. It makes it much easier. Now you don't need to compress it back. You can close this. I use Microsoft Edge, so it's different. And then you will, we now we will need to install the UGX mod standalone uh, mod. Now you can always also read all this information. It will explain all the bugs, all the, what what it does, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, all the updates. Now, in order to download this, you'll probably get confused. So what you'll need to do is head over to the click the first link that you see, UGX Mod Help Application Guide, and it, as you can see, this is maybe incomplete. So just click this option. Then you will you will be presented with this uh, this screen screen page. And you will need to click the top first t top link of this uh, page, and you will be here. The UGX standalone version 1.1 manual installation procedure, and you're gonna have to read all this. But below this, below this little option, below the little box, there is the link where you can delete the you can download the release package, and it's a direct download, so you don't it's not gonna take you to a and it's not going to take you to a another website to download it. It's a direct download, and boom. You, there's also a UGX helper, which they have available, but I would recommend you just download it no, normally so you don't have to install a program to do it. Now that you have it, you all you have to do is extract it, and it will extract. Depending on how fast your PC is, well, depending on how fast it will extract. We're going to replace all of the files, I extract, and it should be done in a moment, Tara, in, in a moment. There we go. Now you should be presented with all these folders. What you need to do is, have, is I remember I told you to keep the war, that war folder open because you're going to need it, it makes it much easier. Well, you just, you just hover, highlight all of these folders and just put it in the root. Of your Call of Duty will that war folder? It will if it's already in there. It will transfer it and just click replace if you already have it in there to update it if you need to update it. And there you go. Not only you installed the T4M R45 mod, but you also installed the UGX mod standalone, which doesn't require it just does it automatically like a thing. And all you have to do is run Plutonium, and it will you will launch it. And now that once you try it once you try to run a map it will freeze depending on how how it is sometimes it will freeze so you'll have to close plutonium because when it tries to restart it doesn't fully restart the thing comp correctly so you just have to reopen it and you'll be able to open the, the map and you won't be able to crash um unfortunately i can't show you that i would love to but um actually i can try um uh, i can't guarantee that it's going to crash on me it probably will um we're gonna go launch it up and i'm gonna show you guys let me lower this audio let me, let me lower all that so we're gonna go to cooperative join server and now we have not to imagine that this is the map that it requires a mod I already have installed. So once I launch it, it's gonna it's going to try to launch it, and it should launch it with no issues. Usually, if sometimes it will get to this point, but then it will crash and it won't work. So if you if you didn't hear a ding sound in the background, you pretty much got it correctly, and you should load up into the map depending on your system. As you can see, I pretty much have have it launched and it's pretty pretty nice look how good this fucking looks and if you're having this issue on on your pc and you're having issues cra crashing trying to launch load into this map i'm hoping hopefully this video will help you fix this issue to try to play these maps because i want to see more players play this map specifically this map is really good it has i, I played it before offline not in do plutonium and i'm glad that it's actually a part of plutonium it's a really good map and i know a lot of people are willing to look forward to playing this this beautiful map and especially the blue eyes They're so freaking sexy <laughs> So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new. And I will see you guys 
in the next video. Peace out.